Hello there, Internet Mawa here, and I got yet another Legends of Runeterra video for you guys today. And today we're bringing back War Mother Ramp Demacia Edition, one of my personal favorite decks. And we're gonna add a new toy onto the list, a card that a lot of you have been asking me to feature on the channel. And that is none other than the Wrath of Froyor, or as I like to call him, Angry Pig. Now we have Angry Man. Angry woman and angry pick. The trifecta is complete and the deck is stronger than ever. Even though this metagame is not really the best for it. I really do enjoy Demacia War Mother's Ramp. It capitalizes on uh, some slower decks and it has some pretty good matchups in this uh, metagame. Specifically, when it comes to top tier decks, I think it does really well against Pantheon and concurrent timelines. And ex exceptionally well, like the best matchup is by far Darkness, which is a very popular deck right now. The problem is everything else is pretty rough because everything else in this meta is pretty fast paced and we do struggle with aggro decks amongst others. So even though we have tools to defeat aggro decks and we, we can get the upper hand on them because we do have a full set of Avalanche, Blood, Ravine, we got healing and we have a full set of it that stairs, which is also really important. We could definitely struggle against them, and uh, I would say the worst matchup it would be Scouts, right? So keep that in mind. Uh, if you want to have a deck that's purely for climbing, um, I wouldn't recommend this because there's a lot of very bad matchups out there right now. But I still did want to play it because I, I felt like the addition of Wrath of Royal Yurt could do a lot of cool things for the deck. Specifically, uh, more than anything, really enhance our matchup against Bandle Tree, for example. By playing Wrath of Freljord, he becomes a must-answer threat because all of a sudden, all of their little dudes that are trying to stall you out as they try to win with the Bandle Tree, which we can destroy, by the way, with it that stairs, we are able to essentially deny their ability to block with pretty much anything, really. Unless they got several attacks with Poppy, pretty much the vast majority of the deck, uh, except for things that they may generate, will not be able to block into us and thus the combination of wrath of fraud your and Cythria Lady of the Clouds is what I like to call the wall breaker components of this deck, is what allow us to really push through with our behemoths once we have cast War Mother's Call. So the objective of this deck is pretty straightforward. We ramp, we play War Mother's Call, and then we profit. The reason why the darkness matchup is so good is because I've actually like yet to lose against darkness with this deck, by the way, just, just, just letting you know. Like it's because we aim to just play War Mother's Call. And once we do, we are able to completely shut them down. We don't have to play into their darkness either before that, right? Because we don't really have much of an early curve. We can play faces of the old ones, but we, even then we can mulligan them out of this matchup and focus more on fishing for our uh, AOE effects so that we can clear their two drops and then we can just cast our War Mother's Call and obliterate them with value, right? Against reactive decks, the ability to just have one play dictate an ongoing value engine for the rest of the match is going to give us the upper hand the majority of the time. So if you are running to a lot of darkness deck, then this deck can be a pretty neat counter in that regard. But like I mentioned numerous times, there are other weaknesses out there. But what I like about the Demacian one War Mother's Ramp is that we get to run single combat. I like running uh, freezes and uh, strike spells that are below essentially three mana or less. Because what this allows us to do is pair these in conjunction with our league game plays. Especially, you know, uh, Sith Reality of the Clouds and also like our eight mana plays. By having... Uh, flash freeze and single combat, if we have 13 mana, we can potentially resort to both of them and play an 8 mana unit the same round, which is really, really important, which is why you should be playing cards like this instead of stuff like Harsh Winds, for example, right? We're playing a couple of cards of Three Sisters to give us a little bit more freezes, which are really important against the likes of Pantheon, but we're also playing a one-off of Brittle Steel because we want to have a bit of a more... You know, we want to patch up that weakness a little bit by having a high tempo play that can allow us to buy some time and just free something for only one mana instead of having to spend potentially four mana onto it with something like Three Sisters, which is why we're going with this uh, a little bit of a bizarre split. But it, it does work out for me. It that stairs is very important, even though there's no synergy with uh, War Mother's Cult. It's really, really crucial because allowing us to clear. An opposing board as we ram into turn eight is very important and we are very much willing to sacrifice a little bit of war mother synergy for staying alive staying alive is very important and i mentioned this many times the buff to it that stairs is super relevant and one of the things that keeps this deck afloat 
against the more fast-paced matchups. A couple of copies of Voices of the Old Ones can allow us to ramp earlier into War Mothers, but also fish for it, potentially, as we look at the top five cards in our deck and we draw each card that costs eight or more. And that, fortunately, includes War Mama right here. And that, ladies and gentlemen, is the deck list right there. It's uh, pretty similar to the old version, even though I've, I've made some, uh, I think, pretty uh, optimal tweaks. And it's worked pretty damn well for me, but it, again, I can't state this enough. It has some really bad matchups out there, so it's not the most consistent deck in the world, but it's fun. It's satisfying as hell, and I think it's about time I showcased Angry Pig on the channel. So that's where I'm going to end this deck tech at. Thank you guys for watching. Stay tuned for daily Legends of Runeterra content. Have us all day. Enjoy the games. I'll see you tomorrow. All right, here we go. Bandle Tree is our first opponent. We got War Mother's Call. Unfortunately, the possibility of Aloof Travelers is pretty real, but I'm gonna keep this in, man, because it's got board wipes for days, and we gotta... We gotta believe. We gotta believe in the lack of Aloof. Okay, so we got all the wipes. And we have the ability to deal with landmarks as well, with it, that's theirs. Maybe. No ramp though, but I mean we did keep all these. Let's see the develop. Bruh. The longer this goes, the better it is for us, so we're passing. You dropped something. I dropped everything. Of course. It begins. Uh one, two, three, four, five. I mean, I can just, I can just pass to be honest. These are trolls. <laughs> Nothing's tougher than a troll. That was when we stopped dropping in the ravines. Play faces. I'm not really afraid of their pressure right now. I'm just afraid of this landmark. But I can I can aim to destroy it with it that's theirs. ravine after. I'm not worried about the pressure. It's just this. That sucks because I really wanted that Cythria. Okay. 
<laughs> a loop just makes me roll my eyes every time. Dude. All right, we have the ability to eight drop into a. Um, my blade grows restless. Into a wipe. Perfect. This is the kind of card that we need for this matchup. It can mini morph is the problem though. But the Wrath of the Freljord can be the MVP here. You dropped something. I dropped everything. Mini morph. I'm gonna, I'm gonna just go with a hit. Scorched Earth could be a thing. If I play Tiana now, though, what you? maybe I, I shouldn't have let Trindamir die because of that, right? Good is our round two opponent, and he's playing Darkness. Darkness is a matchup that I really want to showcase because it's a good match. It's one of our praise, and we even get to face against the final boss skin. I actually never seen this skin before. I think maybe maybe I missed it. <laughs> maybe I didn't focus on it. We're gonna go ahead and uh, drop um, the single. I mean, single combat can be good, but. Even even like two catalysts. No, two catalysts is fine, I think. I just really want to make sure I draw in two war mothers. Because against this deck, we just need to find war mother's call. No catalyzer, which is really nice. But that's all we gotta do. Right, there he is. A bit late to the party, but still here. We keep ramping. Witness 
Okay, so we get all the ramp done. We don't find War Mothers yet. But we do have Double Ravine. That can just wipe them out. Let us take a peek at life beneath the way. Big head, big brain. Big, big head incoming. The hour approaches. Minds to wonder. Double ravine. Double wipe. And there we go. Just in time. Yu Gi Oh! <laughs> Fuck yeah. That is not the greatest time for Tiana, but oh well. That, dark, that darkness is very thick, but because we haven't played any unit up until now, they still need to play it several times. I mean, it's still a lot. Don't get me wrong, but we got the endless value. Of War Mothers. Conchologist, we just, we attack. Forcing the trade. Okay, so Vega's gonna level up here. So combat. We have played the pillar first. We have the uh, the ability to entomb Vagar if they play another one. The murder, murder. I think I just want to play you though. Eh, or I can just pass as well. We have we have the ice pillar here. Cause I I, I want him to feel the pressure. Cause we, we could just be swinging. M maybe this is not correct though. We'll see. I just don't I don't want him to kill my Trindamir is the thing. I don't want him to darkness my Trindamir. But then again, I I I think it's it's worth it anyways. I mean, the, the thing is, with this ice pillar, we, we do, like, just threaten him. Okay, good, they're playing a spell. No, play, play something! Play something! Nice, nice, good. <laughs> good stuff. Do it, face me. Now we go turn the mirror. Cythria? <laughs> Alright. Not what we were hoping for. Just need to be careful with, with Vagar. As long as we have an answer to Vagar, we're fine. And right now we do have the Entomb. Attack! May as well make use of my Brutal Steel here. Huh? One goes down. To go. We only care about Vagar. Okay. Just keep passing, we don't mind. We got the endless value from the... And eventually, like, we're, we're getting back-to-back -back faces. Darkness and light. I wanna freeze. Senna. Cause I don't want Trindamir to die under any circumstance. Like, I want him to force him to die. So I, I want him to go for a darkness onto him. Cause normally I would just pass back, right? Oh, they're playing Oak and Shut. Okay. Alright.
Hit that stairs, just dies to darkness. So at this point, we just gotta keep our hand. We just gotta keep our mana open for our, our three sisters here. No, Vagar is still a threat. I I forgot I, I can't entomb here, but I think I have to go in here. Maybe th this was uh, a miscalculation. I thought I had more mana to entomb. I thought I because I, I saw five. I I I, I, th I thought about entomb, but it's six mana. So I now because I, I made that uh, a misplay. Because honestly, I think it was a misplay. Okay, okay. At least no vague on this round. Troll finding Cythria. And I I was a troll. But the biggest threat is anything can be scattered to its elements, keeping us. That too. They can't Vagar in, in, in direct damage though. One troll to rule them all! So no more no more possibility of Vagar this round. I forward. I am in control. Not attacking with Senna. Which is what we want to see. Because now for three mana, they should have no way of clearing Senna. And the combination of Avalanche plus Blind Ravine will clear her. Getting rid of Senna is very important. We reduce a blocker for the open attack. And there's a very good chance that we're going to be in the pulling Cythria here. Cythria or another Trundle. That's just another unit that's going to get wiped. You ain't got no more mana! Come on, Cythria! Cythria! Well... I'll take that. <laughs> oh! We're going in, boys. We're going in. Booyah! <laughs> that was... A that was a grind. Not even a chance. Oh, I don't love that. Oh, that was a tough one. Another darkness. I'll take it. I'll take it. Let's drop uh, three sisters and um, and and Tiana. Let's keep Avalanche though and Trundle. Avalanche is important because of the potential of Twisted Catalyzer. We got a triple, ladies and gentlemen. We got a triple. All right, bit of an awkward hand now. But give me your palace creatures of doom. Yes, yes. I think no matter what we got avalanche here. It feels bad, but we gotta make sure that we get rid of this catalyzer. If we don't have another one. Oh, 
viewers. Come, come, it's showtime. I put a bit of hit here, but I just don't think Blighted does enough. So I'm gonna hold on to it for now. The trolls are going to war. You could say I got a life with. Smashing. Hopeless, honestly. Let's see who can bait. Let's see who can bait this. Perfect. Beautiful. That's exactly what I wanted. <laughs> the bait. The bait. Because we got more trundles. If there's anything we got, it's more trundles. Long road behind. Long road ahead. Have a trundle. Come at me, girl. No. Nope. Oh, ain't that too bad. Okay, there's the war mama. I'm gonna pass. We're gonna double up on the ice pillars. We welcome them to, to take this out. Vagar is threatening, but they haven't increased the darkness yet. And with double pillar, we can really get to work. And if they do, don't do anything, then we just keep the trundle, so. Okay, so no more darkness, it's just pings. All right. No Vagar, which is fantastic. And they don't kill him! <laughs> Alright, they actually could not kill him! Well... Let's go for this. War Mama time! That's, that's the song. Is that a ruination? That's a ruination. <laughs> that's fine! That's fine, because that means no Vagar this round. And we keep generating the value. Like, that is perfectly fine. Oh, well that ain't. Keep your distance. That's pretty, oh, that's pretty slick. All right. We got some healing here, which is nice. Still a three. Return to us. All right. What about just uh, playing Cythria, though? Like, Cythria is just, like, really big. What does Trundle allow us to do? With Trundle, we can't like double block into them. Dive, Silver Wings, dive! Only I can command darkness. Only I. Souls, brilliance. You stray too far. So 
So if they have something like a... Okay, I'm just thinking, 11 mana, 6, 8, 6, 8, 11. Like, if they have a stress defense or a wall up, it's enough for them to kill us. So we actually cannot sit through this round. We have healing, though. I'm gonna play the wrath. I will shape death as easily as the play. I'll clear the way. This is gonna be fun. Because if they mini morph, this freeze prevents that blocker. We drag those in the back. They mini morph that, but they can't because they have to mini morph the Wrath of the Freljord. Life and death. Oh shit. I miscalculated. Oh, I miscalculated. Oh, we got this though. I need them to not have another one. Miscalculated. Oh, we got him! We got him with the miscalculation! <laughs> but we topped the goal out of it! <laughs> oh, God. This matchup is, uh, you know, not ideal. But Avalanche can definitely help us. Uh, we're gonna keep the Trundle as well because it's a good, it's like the one unit that we keep. And hey, double Avalanche. We have the attack token on round one too, so that, that can help us out a little bit as well. We just gotta believe in our ability to survive. We got some ramp here too. Okay, may, may, maybe we got this. I'm gonna take the hit because I wanna keep this thing alive. Plus, like right now, we don't really have any, we're not beholding anything, so... Let's pass. There's the War Mama. Normally I'd be happy to see it, but here it's uh, gonna be a while before that comes into play. So let's see if they commit to this board. If they play a Draven... Time for the main event. Uh, no. No main event. Cancelled. You just got cancelled. Oh. Oh. It's not worth it. Maybe. Ooh. Brutal Steel is pretty neat. That's why we're not playing. That's why we're playing this as a one off for matches like this. I mean, bro. I think we just play Trundle, though. Because they. In order for them to discard that at this point. 
What's best here? Right now, this is very manageable. Axis coming right up. Works out. Yeah, I like not not having committed the avalanche there. Even though, I mean, there's an argument for just playing Trundle there, but I really want it to be efficient. And now we're in a position where we can play Trundle and still have the avalanche backup if they try to swarm this round. But that Blade Ravine top deck was really neat. I'm, I could have taken a different approach, arguably. I could have just dropped Trundle. I was just worried about them having a way to discard this or just play the Flame Chompers and get some get some damage on us that I feel like we didn't really need to take. We're gonna play Trundle. While we keep this Avalanche open. But right now this attack is not menacing. We'll only resort to the Avalanche when it does become menacing. Uh, no. Not in the mood. Let's sweep these fools. Just a little. Come at me, bro. Oh, shut down, baby. Let's go. Smack him. Because we smorking now. We got shit this round, though. It's time. So we're not making think that we do. We're gonna take our time. We're gonna take our time. Take our time. Rules are made to be broken. Like Oof. 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 they commit. Uh-oh. They're not. Okay. So this is quite a bit of damage. Am I okay with this amount of damage? We're gonna put Jinx in the freezer for a little bit. And we're gonna try to kill him this round, actually. I don't know about you, but I'm in the mood, and we're gonna do so with the Wrath of Front Yard. One, two, three, four, five, six. Six, getting you up to 11. Yeah, that's enough. Get those blockers out of the way! And we're going in. Because this Trundle is going to be massive. We're the Smork. We're the Smork! <laughs> this is going to hurt for you. I don't know about that. <laughs> I got him! Oh, yeah! That one felt good. 
Yeah, pretty much what happened. 